the tragic extent of my failings. Hey guys, Raven Extreme here, uh, coming back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Alright, so, oh boy, what the heck is this? Oh, I can trade heirlooms now, okay, that must be a new update. Um, I totally haven't been paying attention to that. Okay, well then, um, huh, that's kind of awesome. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Anywho, last we left off, we had defeated the, uh, I don't even remember what the hell we did. Let me check my phone. It's been a little bit. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record on Friday. Um, I was a little bit under the weather and things kind of, things kind of happened and, oh, man, just, just, uh, man. I'm still kind of feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, what the hell did I just do? It was... Oh yeah, we were just preparing for the, uh, the boss that we're going to be facing today, which is going to be the Inotuate Flesh. Oh, <sighs> okay. Should already had the party set up, right? No, I don't. Okay. Well then. Alright, so for the Inotuate Flesh, you want to focus on damage. Uh, you want to focus on damage. Um, over time. Dots, dots, dots is the word. Do I have a Howlmaster? We certainly, most certainly do. Uh, we will go ahead and actually keep the name Mevro, because that's actually kind of cool. Well, what ability does Mevro actually have, though? He won't, he's not allowed to do that. He's got a little bit of health loss. That's fine. Wield. Eldritch, which is actually what he is. Okay, I have Hound's Rush, so I need to unlock Hound's Harry. He's got Cry Havoc. No thanks. Okay, so I've got two things i got to switch on, which is totally fine. I can deal with that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put Mevro into the party. I say let's put Mevro into the party. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. Oh, that's new. So, you can... Provides a chance of higher level recruits appearing in the stagecoach. Interesting. Okay, well, let's check out all the upgrades. Is there extra ones? No, it doesn't look like it. Blacksmith, anything in the guild? No. Survivalist shouldn't have anything new. Tavern? No. Okay, so I think it looks like it's just a stagecoach that had an up upgrade. That's fine. I can deal with that. Anywho, um, do I have anything to give him? Actually, I kind of do. Um, hey, Mevro. Because if I'm not mistaken, um, minus two dodge, eh, whatever. Um, he does do bleeding. Let's keep that in mind as well. Okay, so we're actually going to take Mevro into the guild. So we can buy Hound's Harry. Target whistle? Target whistle. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and teach Mevril. Get rid of Cry Having, get rid of Blackjacks. I'm never going to use those. Um, see from Hound's Harry, and let's teach him um, Target whistle. So now he has everything and prefers any, any of the other ranges. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and embark in. So the party we want for this one, we want people that can do Blight, so Dark Summit is a definite go. Um, however, I do need heal, so Light of Love is going to be a definite go, and she belongs in rank 3. Okay, so we got rank 3 there. We've got... Uh, see, I want to take Picado for bleeding also. Uh, but Mevril's not going to do me any good. So do I want Arthas or do I want Dudley? I think I'm going to aim Dudley for this one, because Dudley can focus on the front, and he's more of a tank. So we'll do Dudley as our tank. Because he can also self-heal, which is actually really good. Um, Dark Sama in... I can't put Picado in the back. Picado likes to be in the third. He can harvest from the second rank, though, however. But Mevril's going to be a lot better in this situation, so we'll just do that. Okay, so the reason I'm choosing this party here is... You have Dark Sama who can do Blight. You want Blight Grenade. You want the Plague Grenade. Because this is going to deal massive damage to, uh... Why is her disease down? Oh, Trinket. Oh, the bloody fetish. Okay. Well, it does bleeding, so it's not a huge deal. Anyways, um... Blight is a huge, huge factor against this boss. Um, as well as bleeding. Which is why I got Hound's Harry. Now, granted... Hound's Harry is only going to be doing one point of bleed damage, but that's over four different targets. So that's four points of bleed damage per turn. So it's just as bad as Plague is. Um, Hound's Rush will also help because of the fact that it's single targeted, but it has a better chance of hitting also. 
Um, they both have the same, but it's more like it's more of the the bleeding that I care for. I don't really care for the target whistle. Um, stress heal is kind of useless, and so is blackjack. But anyways, all right. I think I need to get rid of purge. But what about I'm gonna put purge in for Hugh? Yeah, purge for Hugh, so he can actually get some extra damage in there. Because there's no real corpses that I need to get rid of. And past that, I think I'm really much good to go. Um, everybody's got some accessories there besides... Nope, she's got the heal, because she's still going to be doing this. Alright, actually, everybody's primarily set up. I just got some low HP low HP parties. Nobody's more than 30, except for uh, Dudley, who's almost 50. Alright, well, let's go. Um... All food, of course. Alright, torches. Uh, do 16 torches. A couple shovels. Add another medicinal herb. Add another um, anti-venom. Since bleeding's gonna be a key thing, I'm gonna take three of those, and everything else I don't really care for. So let's go! My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Okay, so he's either going to be in the bottom left or the bottom right. Um, I'm going to take a guess at the bottom right, so let's go ahead and move forward. Okay, nobody's gonna check that out. Good. No battles? Nothing? Nothing at all. Wow. That's rather nice. No battle here. Scouting? Alright. Okay, so we're gonna run into a battle with a treasure right here. Got a pack. It's got loot. Damn it, I wanted a map. If I'll take the torch. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, that's a new line. Alright, so we have a battle in here. Let's see what we're up against. Spiders! Alright, cool. This shouldn't be hard. Uh, we will play green at the back row! We will hound Harry, everybody! Three bleeds, sweet. They both die in their turn. Wow, okay. Random stun. Okay, bite is a thing. Of course. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Alright, um, no need for healing, so we're just gonna illuminate. Uh, we'll knock this vapor here. <clears throat> so that'll confirm his death. Biting on him again, ow. More blight, yep. Um, let's hounds rush for a kill. Executed with impunity. Sweet. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. You know, I didn't even bring a key. I just realized that. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be so lucky in finding him this fast, so I'm going to go ahead and go left and see if he's actually over here. If he's actually over here, I'd be surprised. I'd be thoroughly surprised, because I'm not even prepared. Oh, well, there's a shovel. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. All right, well, let's see. Dice roll! Is it boss time? It is not. Oh, but I got surprised. That's not good. That's actually terrible. In the order that they have me right now. That's actually really, really bad. Just the debilitate up. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Okay, well that's a problem. Um, hmm. I want to move. I want to move Beverly forward. However, I want to hounds rush and get rid of him as fast as I can. So I'll wait a turn. Uh, Dark Summer has to move back. And then he has to move forward. I can illuminate. Almost kill. 
It won't kill. Butcher cut misses. Good. All right, turn. He almost died. Damn it. Vomiting on Mavarel. Missed. Good job. Drums of Doom is stress. Still manageable though. Okay, gotta bleed. Okay, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, we'll play grenade. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Uh, we will go ahead and hounds rush him in the back. I need to move move uh, light of love back. Of course, there was a stun happening. Um, I can chop from here, which is actually fine. So I'll go ahead and do that. Destroyed. At this point, uh, light of love can move back. So now all I need to do now is get Mevro to move into his correct spot. Um, however, I will move Dark Sama up. Almost died. Don't debilitation on Light of Love. That's fine. Dodge and stress damage. Okay, that's a thing. Butcher cut on Dudley. Dudley will counteract your attack with that. The bleed is minuscule, so I'm not too concerned. Um, let's go ahead and Divine Grace herself. All right, sweet. Sweet is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and move him back to where he belongs, and then we'll go ahead and knock his blast him. He won't. Oh, he resisted. Damn it. Okay, well then we'll just go ahead and chop again, and then I can go ahead and. Uh, Eh. Let's go ahead and judgment to heal uh, to top her off. Advantage. There we go. No quarter. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, so I was gonna run into another um, barricade. So once I clear this curio room, I will go ahead and uh, camp since I think he's gonna be in the. I think it's gonna be in the bottom left. Fine. And it's fine too. I'm gonna go ahead and torch up now. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I'm not gonna concern myself with that. You know what? I'm gonna have Dudley eat. Alright. So in the Curio Room, we have something I'm not gonna care about. Oh, great. Yay, stressing. Yay, stressing. Play grenade the back. Oh, well, shit, he moved. Alright, well, we'll just go ahead and... Make sure he dies on his next turn. Oh, he resisted. You son of a bitch. Oh, no, wait. He still takes four damage. He dies on his turn. I'm going to go ahead and heal Mevril. That should be a full heal. Yep. All right, and then we'll go ahead and chop him for 13 damage. My good God. Um, yeah, play great best. Slowly. Gently. Do I get? No, I don't. Accusation on Mevril. Oh, Jesus God! Unbalanced. Well then. And then stun on Dark Summer. Yep. That's fine, because Dark Summer can actually swap, uh, swap slots, so that's a big, not a big deal. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Ooh, pretty much just recounteracted that. That was beautiful. Alright, get out of here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, you can't go nowhere anymore, so that's fine. Dark Summer seems to be my fastest. Okay, that's fine. Are you kidding me? What is up with these crits? Okay, you gotta bleed. Um, we're gonna. You know, I'm just gonna heal. Another one falls. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, let's move Light of Love back to where she belongs. And we're gonna camp out here. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, 
Rats in a maze. All right, everybody should reduce their stress. So Mevril still got a little bit of trouble here. Uh, we've got Reflection, which reduces his stress and get, increases his accuracy. See, this is beautiful for uh, for a leper. Uh, reduces his stress, but increases everybody else's by five. No thanks. Minus stress damage. Nope. Uh, we can encourage. We can Hound's Watch, which prevents the ambush, which is something I'm gonna do. Extra scouting chance. I don't care. Nobody needs healing, or and nobody's blighted. I don't need that either, and I don't need that either. Um, however. Oh, you see, Light of Love doesn't even have that good enough skills either. Um, stress damage I don't care for. This the reducing the stress is kind of what I'm more concerned with. The extra prod's actually nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and pray. Cause that'll give, um, Dudley extra guard. And then I'm gonna have Dudley go ahead and do reflection as well. So Dudley will have 15% protect- uh, 15% damage reduction, extra accuracy, and extra crit, which is beautiful. So let's go ahead and rest up. The light, the promise of safety. All right, let's see what we got. No battles. Up oh, there we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hound Harry. A decisive. Lovely crit. All right, so we got some gunners. Uh, we will play grenade to two in the back because fuck gunners. Um, we will go ahead and judgment him, so he dies in his turn. So they both should die in their turn now, so I can just now focus on these two, which I will go ahead and do. Hugh, shank should be bleed. Yes, it is. Slice and dice should be this raw damage. Oh, debuff. Okay. I'll go ahead and heal. We'll go shank on Dudley. That hits. Bleeds, of course. Uh, if I play grenade, that'll kill them both. That'll confirm their kill. I'll go ahead and do that. So, they both should die now. Ah, just lived. Uppercut slice would be a knockback move and miss. Good. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna nope. That won't do me any good. Um, oh, how's Harry? Their formation is broken. Sweet. The offensive. And we'll just go ahead and party heal now. Just top. Just to go ahead and do some top off here, because he die. He does not die in his turn actually. So we'll go ahead and chop. Eradicated. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Light of love leading is not a big deal. Boss time! Squirming, contorting, and ever expanding. This horror must be unmade. Okay! So we've got four pieces here. We've got a heart, which does healing. You got the dog face that does uh, massive damage. You got this thing that can stun here, and then I don't remember what that piece is. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, anyways, this thing has pro it's, it's heart the heart does not have any prot, so it can do a raw damage, so that's deadly all day. Um the head has 50% prot, this piece has 70% prot, I think it's just ribs, whatever, I don't know what it's called. Um, and this piece has 30. Uh, this is why Blight will come in handy. So it'll heal itself for 5, which doesn't do it any good. Uh, we go ahead and Hound Terry. Got two bleeds off, that's good. Undulating Invasion. That's a bleed, isn't it? No, it's a Blight! Oh, okay. Bone Zephyr. Okay, that's the, the stun move. It hit. Okay, that's fine. Because what I can do is I can just go ahead and go... Um... I'm going to want to heal herself, actually. Maws of Life is uh, the high damage bleed. Yes. Alright, having Dudley get stunned was kind of bad. Okay, so no heart this time, so it can't heal itself. Unglading Invasion is going to be Blight Chance. It resisted, of course, but it does some significant damage. We'll Hound's Harry. Two, two bleeds. Okay, and then Play Grenade. It's going to Mazel Life on Dudley, which is fine because he's my tank. When he gets his turn, he can uh, cure it off. Mazel Life on him. It's going to hurt. 
He resisted the bleed at least, which is a good thing. And since it's in the back, he can't do anything, so that works. We're gonna go ahead and heal uh, Mevril. All right, and then Dudley can go ahead and go chop. He only got a heart this time, that's fine. Look at that, 10 damage, that's amazing. Okay, Undulating Invasion hits again. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the bleed, and then Hound's Harry again. Five damage, two extra bleeds, lovely. Sangreen Stroke to heal five. Seven this time, ouch. Okay. Maws of Life again on Dudley, he's gonna hit, because he doesn't dodge. Gets another bleed. He's bleeding four per turn now. Gonna grenade the back again. Got one resisted. Wow, okay. Maws of life on Mevrel. It hits again. Jesus. He resisted the bleed, though. Um, heal Mevrel for a full heal. That's beautiful. And Dudley's gonna go and hew this time for nine points. And that's nice. Ooh. That's a terrible setup. The Sanguine Stroke to heal 7 again, okay. He's losing... about... well, if this hits again... Oh, come on! Okay, so when this piece goes, it's gonna lose 14 points. It's got 30 health left, so 14 points, it's gonna lose... I'm about to Hound's Harry again right now. So, 14... 18, 20, 21. He's got another bleed there, so it's 7. So down to 18 health. Um, it should die in its next turn. That doesn't bother me too much. The heart's already gone, so I can just go ahead and chop the heart. Gonna bones up for Dark Sama. Of course, it's gonna hit. It resists. She resists is done. That's beautiful. I don't care. I'm gonna do that and then go chop on the heart. It's That's game! It's a small consolation. Implications of its terrible existence. That's all she wrote. All right. Well, that's all the level one bosses down. So now I got left now is to focus on the level three bosses. So now the main goal is with all the low guys, get them level three. Get about eight thousand gold, eight five hundred gold. Not bad. Um, not a lot of stuff I didn't really explore very much, but it's okay. So Dudley hits level 2, Dark Summon hits level 3, Dark Summon gets fra- oh my god, are you kidding me? Um, Fragile, Light of Love and Mevril got nothing, and Dudley got Slugger for- oh my god, really? More melee damage is great! In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, so it looks like unfortunately Lady CG can no longer uh, meditate. Uh, she got Unquiet Mind, Balthier lost his Hysterical Blindness, Cecil lost his Tetanus, which is great, and that's pretty much everything that happened here, so let's organize by level here. And just to confirm my thoughts, yes, I am correct, there are no more, uh, level 1 bosses, so now I have the choices of the level 3 Necromancer, the level 3 Hag, Oh, I don't know about that one. And that's pretty much it. So I can do the cove also, which is a a blight amulet. Oh, oh, oh! I believe this goes down though. Still, this is something to sell. It's level three is another dark tambourine. What do I get here? I get a focus ring. Oh, that's actually kind of lovely. That's actually a tank ring right there. This one here, I get a man at arms. If he's knocked all the way back, no thanks. That's something to sell. Ex. Uh, clear 100% of room metals in a long, no thanks. The level 5 is another Vestal Scroll? Really? Wow. Okay. What's the level 3 here? The Sun Ring, which... Oh, that's actually perfect for a run for me. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back. Let's see what we got here in the stagecoach. I need 12 busts. Okay, let's see if I can, get, let's see if I can force myself to get 12 busts. Really quick here. Um, I don't want to trade bust. I want to trade. I can trade crest for bust. Okay. I need twelve. Ah, oh, I don't have enough anymore. Okay, because I need. Oh, I need bust and portrait. Oh, 
I need eight portraits and I need one more bust. Oh, and there's nothing I can do about it. Damn. So close. So, so close. Oh, boo. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's not going to do me any good, so... Um, let's put some people in for recovery real fast, like... Um, Dark Sama, get rid of that fragile, because... I kind of need her health to be up. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, Dark Sama, let's treat that... Oh, what the... Quirk. Get rid of fragile. Um... Mevrel had some stress. Oh, it's only down to 30 now? That's not bad. Okay, well, anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and call it an episode here, guys. So until then, it's Raider Street signing out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode on Wednesday. So until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!